The Broadwing Hawk is a forest nesting raptor and also a long distance migrant. It migrates down to Central and South America for the winter. And it's the most abundant migrating raptor that everyone will see at Northeastern Hawk Watches, including Hawk Mountain. It collects in large flocks. People are always excited about seeing these flocks come by. But in comparison to what we know about their migration over our watch sites, we know very little about their behavior and habitat use on migration as well as their nesting behavior. In recent years, we've noticed a decline in their distribution. They're nesting in less and less places in southern Pennsylvania and some of the New England areas. Because of that, we started a multi-year study to examine Broadwing Hawk ecology year-round. But one of the aspects we wanted to study in particular was their migration ecology and behavior. From 2014 to 2019, we've been marking birds primarily in Pennsylvania. And we've marked 13 different broadwings, primarily female birds, over those years. Figured out where those birds are wintering and how they're flying, their migration timing. But some of the data that we've compared to other research that has been done suggests that broadwings from different regions may winter in different areas of South America. Our goal for this coming year is to mark birds from Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Canada, to try to understand where these northeastern birds are going in the wintering grounds and whether it differs from what we see with Pennsylvania birds. And the reason we want to do that is because the conservation threats that they're facing could be different. So we are better able to protect them by looking at populations from different parts of their breeding distribution. So one of our goals for this year will be to trap female birds in Maine, New Hampshire, and Canada. Each of those transmitters that we put out costs us about $5,000. They're $3,500 for the transmitter alone and data that we have to pay for for the satellite company. So just a bare minimum 5000 and then there's the time and getting travel money, getting crews up there. So we're really trying to raise about $25,000 for this coming year, but some of that could be through small donations. We would like to enlist as many bird watchers as we can from Maine and New Hampshire and Vermont to try to support this effort because it will also inform how these birds are migrating through the northeastern region, which we don't really know at this point.